Hey there, creepy peeps. Welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you're returning. We are halfway through Vampire Week already. So just a reminder, even though I don't normally post a video every single day all year round, I do post regularly outside of October and it's all horror content, all fun content. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already to stay in the loop. Before we get into this though, I wanna say thank you to my creepy patron peeps for supporting my channel. Thank you guys so, so much. If you wanna find out the perks of being a creepy patron peep, you can follow that link in the description. Directed by John Carpenter, Vampires follows a slayer recovering from an ambush that killed his entire team, who must retrieve an ancient Catholic relic that, should it be acquired by vampires, that will allow them to walk in sunlight. So, as I was watching this movie, I, I found that I wasn't able to tell if this was supposed to be over the top and therefore hilarious, or if I was finding it unintentionally funny. <laughs> the dialogue is just so over the top, like dramatic, macho, like <laughs> I feel like every one liner that like anyone's ever heard in like Western or action movies is in this movie. <laughs> Which is what led me to think like maybe it was intentionally done that way because like I have a hard time believing John Carpenter <laughs> like allowed that dialogue and was being completely serious about it. <laughs> not to mention like not only was the dialogue like cringy and weird and macho but they were like yelling most of the time. Like these characters were just so full of testosterone that they ha just had to yell all the time just yell dramatically about everything <laughs> and they say women are emotional i mean speaking of women there's only one female character in this movie and she barely has any lines most of the time with her character is spent with her looking ill and like having visions <laughs> so it's 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 a it's a man's movie i'll say that i was just so exhausted by the characters like <laughs> It was exhausting trying to figure out if this was supposed to be like intentionally like over the top or not or if that was just what the performances were. If it was then oh my god. I just genuinely could not take any of the characters seriously. Hopefully somebody please let me know in the comments like is it meant to be that way? Is that how it was meant to be? <laughs> That being said, the practical effects in this movie are done by K&B. As soon as I saw them in the opening credits, I was like, okay, <laughs> that's good. And it was a good thing. There ended up being some really like genuinely fun gore gags in the movie, like some really awesome kills, good gore, good practical effects. Um, my favorite being um, one of the characters gets like split in half and that's really fun. That's always fun, I feel like. <laughs> always a fun time, I feel like, watching somebody get a split in half like that and it being like practically done so it just feels like gooey and gross and tangible. We love that. I know this seems like a really short review. I feel like I got through this one really quickly but the movie was just not fun to me. <laughs> like I think, I think it was supposed to be funny. That's my takeaway because like I said I just feel like I don't, I, I don't believe that John Carpenter would make something like that and think that that like and be completely serious with that. There's no way, right? There's no way. I just felt tired by the movie. Um, <laughs> it just feels so different from any other John Carpenter movie I've seen. If you showed me this movie uh, without like the opening credits or anything, so I like I had no idea it was by John Carpenter, I never would have guessed him. Absolutely be the last person on my list that I guessed. So it's it's a two out of five for me. The two is for the gore gags. On IMDb, it's got a 6.2 out of 10 though. Rotten Tomatoes has a 40% critic score and a 47% audience score. And on Letterboxd, it has a 2.9 out of five. So please, if you know anything about this movie, let me know in the comment section, is it meant to be as ridiculous as it was or was that just me uh <laughs> thank you for watching this video thank you for being here uh, i will see you tomorrow with another new video until then stay strange bye